Yeah, g'day Lance. Uh, I thought it might be easier if I made a video just to quickly show you the uh, existing uh, setup. As you can see, I've cleared the walls and the space around the existing setup to give you uh, options about where to put the battery uh, rack. But based on the dimensions you sent through, I believe it'll fit. In terms of what's currently here, um, this is just the existing uh, lead acid uh, battery bank, the 24 volt one. Um, as you can see, most of the wiring that goes into the inverter there is all on the uh, outside. Um, if we start with, I guess, the big bad fuse, that's this one here. So you can see that's a 100 amp fuse that's existing in place. Um, existing inverter. I know you're going to take these out, but I think you also wanted a um, picture of this, which is the board. Um, you can see the fuses that are existing in there at the moment. Subboard, main switch and power. Um, a few more things, like this is the amp meter from the existing solar panels. Another fuse. Got another fuse down here that goes into the back of the batteries. Um, I think all this is pretty convoluted, but doesn't matter, you're probably gonna rip it out. Um, in terms of the existing uh, plywood on the wall, as you can see, it's like six or seven ply, so it's about 20 mil. Um, obviously you can reuse that and take it down. It's only, uh, you can see under there, it's just screwed into the wall. So if you like, we can take that down on the day so you can put cables behind if necessary. Uh, this unit here is the existing uh, mainland hydro, which comes on its own little board. So again, it can just be uh, unscrewed, disconnected from these areas, and then I uh, guess sent away to be uh, redone. Uh, in terms of the uh, electrical work in here, um, <clears throat> you'll notice that this here is uh, one, uh, one double point. Um, for some reason, that's the only power inside this entire shed. So i just like to run some uh, lines um, for some lighting and put in a couple of other switches in this room. So there's the door over there. Apologies, it obviously changes focus and lighting. But we'd like to put a, uh, a switch by the door so we can turn the light on as we come into the shed rather than have to wait to get all the way over there to turn it on. Um, I'll take a few stills and then let me know if there's anything else uh, that you need.